Welcome. There is not only one day of Christmas, there are 12 days of Christmas. 12 days of feasting and celebrating that God's love has taken on human flesh to dwell among us. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And, and also, also with, with you. you. Holy God, in love, you sent your Son, that the world may have life. Lead us to seek him among the outcast and to find him in those in need, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north, and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth. Among them, the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labor, together a great company, they shall return here. With weeping, they shall come, and with consolations, I will lead them back. I will let them walk by brooks of water in a straight path in which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him and will keep him as a shepherd a flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord, over the grain, the wine, and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their life shall become like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. Then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy, I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Jesus Christ. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was in the world. And the world came into being to him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and, cri and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. This is the Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, O Christ. God here among us, light in the midst of us, bring us to light and life. Amen. So, if it was illegal to practice our faith, how would we teach the next generation? 
Well, one way that people have often secretly taught faith is through song and singing. Songs like the 12 days of Christmas, because each day has a hidden meaning. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. True love was God. And on the first day of Christmas, God gave us a partridge in a pear tree, which was Jesus on the cross. Two turtle doves are the birds sacrificed on the eighth day when Jesus was brought to the temple for circumcision and to be named. Three French hens symbolize the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the three wise men. Four calling birds are the authors of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Five golden rings are the first five books of the Old Testament called the Pentateuch. Six are the six days of creation, because remember on the seventh day, God rested. Seven swans are swimming are the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and in some churches it's the number of sacraments. Eight maids are milking are the Beatitudes from Matthew's Gospel. Nine ladies dance represent the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Ten lords are leaping are the Ten Commandments. Eleven pipers piping represent Jesus' disciples, but not counting Judas. Twelve drummers drumming. Well, the number 12 appears a lot in the Bible. So it could be the tribes of Israel, the sons of Jacob, Jesus' disciples, or the number of doctrines in the ancient creeds. So it's a bit unclear. So this isn't just a great Christmas song. This is a way to pass on the Christian faith in a secret and hidden way. Now, almost a century after Jesus was born, a writer named John wanted to teach his community about Christ, but they didn't speak Hebrew. So they didn't know any of the stories of the Old Testament, and this idea of a Jewish Messiah didn't make any sense. So John decided to teach them through a song. And like many composers, John borrowed parts of songs that everyone already knew. So the first words of his song were in the beginning. And that was just like the words in the book of Genesis. In the beginning was the Logos. Well, that's what John wrote, Logos. In English, what we, we usually say is, in the beginning was the word, because Logos means first thought or first speech. Because just like in Genesis, every time God said something, creation happened. And so God's speech, God's logos, God's word is the spark of creation. Or, as John writes in his song, through him all things came into being, and without him not one thing came into being. On the first day of creation, God created light. And in John's song, he calls Jesus the true light, which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. And then John's song changes key. The word, the logos, God's speech becomes flesh and lived among us. But again, those English words lived among us, they don't really capture what John was saying. People who spoke Hebrew would have heard God tabernacled among us, reminding them of their ancestors' journey through the wilderness, carrying the Ark of God's Covenant under a tent or a tabernacle. Now, others have translated this as God dwelt among us, but we really don't talk about dwelling places anymore. A more recent Bible translation said, God moved into the neighborhood, which makes clear that the point of Jesus' birth is that God was not hiding from humanity behind some far-off heavenly cloud. The creator of the entire universe is as real, as human, and as 
present in our daily lives as the people who live around us. Now, John did not teach people about Jesus with a bunch of facts or historical dates or fancy quotes so that he could sound smart. He taught people about Jesus through a song. And the same is still true. Nobody leaves church on a Sunday humming my sermon. But we can all remember a song for days afterwards. At this time of year, people of every faith and no faith like to listen to Christmas music. And that's great. But usually what happens is that after the 25th of December, it stops. And so if we want to keep teaching people about the good news of Jesus, then maybe instead of telling them facts and dates and quotes, maybe our job is to keep singing God's song. And maybe, like the 12 days of Christmas, we might sing God's song through a secret hidden message. Or maybe like John's song, we might sing it in a new language so that people hear this message in a new way. Or maybe, if we get really good at it, we can sing God's song without using any words at all. People will be able to hear it through our daily lives. So my prayer for us today is, don't let the joy of Christmas be only one day or even just 12 days. In 2021, let us make Christmas a way of life for all of us. Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milky, seven swans are swimming, six keys are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us affirm our faith in our newborn Savior as we pray together. We believe and trust in God the Father, who made the world. We believe and trust in His Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed the world. We believe and trust in the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God. Amen. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Let us bring before God the needs of the world. Wonderful counsellor, give your wisdom to the rulers of the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty God, make the whole world know that the government is on your shoulders. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Everlasting Father, establish your reign of justice and righteousness forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Prince of Peace, bring in the endless kingdom of your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Lord, hear our prayer and fulfil your purposes in us as you accomplished your will in our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, the end of the heaven say, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come thy, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And then lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O zalig heilig Bethlehem, o wonder duizend uit verkoren, verreerd boven Jeruzalem, want Jezus is Christmas cannot be contained. It reaches to the ends of the earth. Similarly, in a moment, this video will end. Your screen may go dark. But we now carry Christ's light everywhere we are and everywhere we go. May the joy of the angels 
the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, proclaiming the word made flesh. Thanks be to God. <laughs>